Hey, what's up guys? Santos here. Hope you're having a great day. So the big day is almost here. Tomorrow we'll be taking the truck to Reckless. Finally, the day is here. Almost, anyway. I'm really looking forward to making the trip to Reckless and finally dropping off the truck. Alex and Robert, they'll be swinging by. They'll be going up there with me since, of course, I'll be leaving the truck. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much sleep I'll be able to get tonight. That's how excited I am. Okay, maybe, you know, maybe that's a little exaggerated, right? But yes, I'm excited. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be taking the truck to Reckless. Alex and Robert just showed up. We're loading the wheels in the truck right now. Everybody, sir, welcome to Texas, where cars think twice about racing the truck. But we're loading the wheels in the truck right now. The day is here. The truck's finally going in the shop. top is usable we recommend yeah and then that goes behind your bumper okay this stuff gets moved over so we'll have to do the yellow top yes yellow top. okay yeah. are all yellow tops graded equal yeah yes. yeah i think there's only one model just either yeah. yellow or red yeah. if i'm not mistaken i don't think there's um okay i, I don't think there's any i don't think so but i don't, I don't think the cranking apps are different or something yeah like yeah that. i don't want to lie to you but from my understanding it's just yellow or red so we're going yellow top here you're you're relocating that, that somewhere else mm -hmm. okay and then just the tub work, of course, the relocation on the brackets and everything is going to be clean. And then the air filter. Where's yeah, the, the battery? Like in here? Behind it. Behind here. It's actually going to be in here. Oh, right shit. Yeah. Right behind the bumper. So um, we'll have to put like a little a little thing here if you need to jump it. You know, put your little extender. I know he wants he wants it to tuck. and I mean, I, that's not a problem to get it to tuck, but it's just um, to get it to tuck right and be able to turn and still be able to do what he would like to do, we got to build custom arms. I so. You know, like I was telling him, that's just gonna give us, it's gonna extend the time frame by by when he wants it done. So I just wanna make sure we try to turn it in on time. You know, I can get it to that point, that way you can look at it. If you wanna, you know, do like the follow up that we were talking about, that way you can kind of see where it sits and be like, oh, okay, that's definitely different. If not, then we're gonna have to build a custom control on it. Yeah, and it more likely is gonna be both upper and lower. Because the lower is gonna do all the drop, the top one's just gonna help up with the alignment. So you said it was 1200 for the control arms, but that's up and bottom, or that's yeah. just up? Or? No, both of them. Yeah, well, it's really all four of them. How much you want to be in the back? How much tucking you want to have in the back? So, on that cold over kit, what's the lowest you can go? Really? I mean, honestly, it's to the ground. I mean, you have a monster knock, so you can go all the way to the ground. I mean, I'll, I'll leave it up to you to set it up to where... Kind of, kind of base with, with the front? Okay, cool. Perfect. That's done. That's easy. It's too easy right there. We'll set it up how it looks with the front and kind of give us some measurements. And then, of course, we want to always tuck a little bit more in the back yep. just to give it more of that look of that stack, so that'll be fine. Yeah, I'm excited, man. I think it's gonna turn out really nice. Oh, yeah. So we'll get on it and, and I'll call you, let you know what we have and updates on that. That's it. So, so we good. we'll look into the tires, right? 
We'll look into the dimple dies for the rear tubs. That, that consider that done. Okay. That's that's not a problem. We do that here, so that's not a problem. The tires is just me giving you a price. Yep. You give me the approval. We get them. We mount them. We balance them. And it's done deal. Okay. I'm pretty sure by that point it, it, it's not gonna fit. At that point, we're gonna have to probably cut the tub. You know, cut off the inner fender, then mount it just to give you a, a look of what it's gonna sit. And then be the sheet metal. And then we'll put a sheet metal in the front as well. You wanna go ahead and knock that out? Yeah. Now yeah, look really good. So it closes this up really well. It should be really nice. It's just a matter of taking our time, putting all the detail in it, make it come out right. You already got the wheels, you already got the kit. Now it's just a matter of putting it on. Eventually, probably want to do a brake job. Okay, what did you have in mind? Like just um, pads and rotors or upgrading to? Wheelwood or the wheel woods or something? We've used a lot of uh, Little Shop Manufacturing. And I think the website is littleshopmanufacturing.com and they give you everything you need. From the up spacers, the rotors, calipers, brake line, I believe, uh, fittings. For the back, they have the um, little bracket as well. Basically, everything that you need to bolt it on. And it, it's really a bolt-on kit. We don't have to fab up anything. There's a couple of spaces to adjust the calipers and all this other stuff. But I mean, overall, it's, it's straight bolt. Um, the mm -hmm. front, if I'm not mistaken, I believe they have uh, two options, 14 and 16, 14 inch and 16 inch. So I think the 14 inch, if I'm not mistaken, is like 16. And then the 16 inch, I think it's like 22 maybe for the front. And then the rear is like 24, like we have about 17 to 24, somewhere around there. I'll bring that. So the dimple dies, mm -hmm. and then the also we will. the sheet metal on the front, and I guess the lug that will let me know on. The lug nut kit is like 40 bucks, man. Okay. Yeah, so, so dimple dies, front shrouds, and lugs, 485. Okay. And we're just missing the, uh, the tires. So okay. just get the tires mounted and balanced. And then that's it, those, we'll get back to you. And then uh, that's it, it's really easy, man. That's Other than that, I mean, we'll be moving forward in stages and stuff, so shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem getting that stuff built for you. And then the lowering on the front, that's already included in the other amount that we mm -hmm. talked about? Oh yeah, yeah, we, were, we took care of that a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, it's just, um, this is just a little extra stuff that we're just adding on there. So because we relocated my battery, came by AutoZone and picked up this yellow top. I was already thinking about buying this yellow top because uh, I installed a different amp in my truck. Whenever the subwoofers would hit, I saw that once I put the new amp, it started dimming the lights on my dash. With time, that'll jack up your alternator. It's happened to me before where I didn't upgrade the alternator or the battery and there was no capacitor in a car that I had. So uh, it ended up costing me in the long run, right? So that's why I was already thinking about upgrading to this yellow top. So obviously we've done that now. Once I go back and uh, have Julio install this, then I'll check out the truck, see how it's running, see what the dash does in terms of when the base hits. I don't have a capacitor in it yet, but if I need to, then that's gonna be the next upgrade. So yeah. Here's a yellow top. My plan is to run it up to Reckless on Friday. So, yep. Shout out to Christina. She hooked it up over here at AutoZone. If you're in the Baytown area, swing by AutoZone on Garth by Chick-fil-A. I like Christina. She'll hook you up. So when I initially received the wheels, I noticed that the back wheel, the lip didn't sit flush with the sidewall of the tire. I thought that that was normal because I've never owned a 28 by 12 reverse wheel. 
So I didn't think much of it. So I started doing some research and I noticed that maybe it shouldn't be like that. So when we got the Reckless, I pointed it out to Julio and sure enough, he confirmed that it should not be like that. He actually had a wheel that was the same size with the same size tire, but it was a different manufacturer. He showed that to me and there was a big difference. The sidewall on that other tire did sit flush with the lip of the wheel. So that's why I went ahead and ordered different tires. You spend all this money on wheels and tires. The last thing you want to do is be out and about cruising the truck with the incorrect size tire. And um, we're going to go ahead and order the tires that he recommended. That way we get this taken care of now. There's everybody's name here. There's uh, like 240 comments. We really appreciate the support. Everybody's name's here. Let's do it. Good luck, everybody. Let's do it. There it goes. And the winner is J Ham, J underscore Ham 30. Congrats. What we're also going to do is we made, uh, we made some of these stickers. Big lips and wide hips. I'm going to throw some stickers in there also. Raffle some stickers right now. All right, let's do that. Don't raffle some stickers or what? Okay, we're gonna give out some stickers. You guys want some stickers? We'll give out some stickers. Five, I'm gonna pick five different times here each. So each one will give them uh, three stickers. Y'all cool with that? All right, let's go. So Jose, Texas, Jose underscore Texas, 512. He's one of our five winners. Let's do another one. There it is. Kona underscore productions. Another winner for three stickers. Do another one here. Guzman 310 underscore, third winner. Another three stickers, congrats. Adrian G, 916. Josue Garcia, 03. So there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing. I just wanna say thank you to everyone who has subscribed, who has shared, who has commented. It really means a lot. Everyone who participated in this 500 subscriber giveaway, thank you again. Congrats to the winner. I'll be shipping your vehicle care kit soon. So be expecting that. Also, we surpassed a thousand subscribers on YouTube. That was our next milestone. So with that being said, guess what? That's right. We're gonna do another giveaway. This is for 1,000 subscribers. But I want y'all's input. Let me know in the comments section below. Should we do another vehicle care kit? Should we throw in some DS18 speakers there for a second winner? Let me know, give me some feedback. Reaching a thousand subscribers is something we never thought we would do. Doing this YouTube thing, it's by far exceeded all of our expectations. Stay tuned for future giveaways. Thank you guys again and see you on the next one.